Ooh, yeah. Now that's starting to look more like a base. <laughs> it's a shame the series is like on the verge of ending. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Mod of Survival. Yeah, I've been uh, spending a little bit more time around the base since the last episode. Mostly on lighting. You may be able to see I've uh, introduced a new mod to the mod pack to the series. The additional lighting mod. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. We've used it many, many times in the past. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. I kind of put some ceilings in and that sort of jazz. Um, but mostly just the lights, which really don't matter when it's daytime now, do they? But hey, our night times will look a little bit prettier now anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm actually uh, coming, getting kind of fond of our new base right here. It's it's coming together nicely eventually. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but I kind of wish I'd done this a lot sooner rather than, you know, over 50 episodes into a series. But we're finally getting there at least. So that's kind of nice. Especially, I especially like how we've done this. How I kind of like built this all the way around here into like the cliff side. I don't know why. It just, I don't know. It looks cool. It looks cool. I don't know. I'm kind of, I guess we're mixing in a bit of the terrain and stuff. Still got a long ways to go with it though. I'm kind of just chipping away at it bit by bit. Went and moved all of our stuff over here. It's all looking nice and pretty and dandy. Um, these are all the structures we currently have, but there's a few others that we haven't yet crafted. So I don't know where I'm going to fit those. I don't really think that one there through. But uh, today we are getting down and dirty. We're going to get ourselves a Reaper. Yeah, we're getting down into the aberrations. Not really, but you know, but we're focusing aberration side on a Reaper. Or at least we're going to try to, because it's one thing that I have no idea how to do. And uh, we're going to have to learn how to do that before we get there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Guys, before I get too far into it, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Now, uh, Reaper, let's, let's, we're going to do this thing. Or at least we're going to try. Last episode, we uh, focused our attention on killing Reapers uh, so that we could evolve our big old dragon up there who is incorrectly named. Hold on just a second there, guys. I must pull myself up to him and give him a correct name. He is no longer a vapor adolescent dragon. No, 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 no. He is a vapor zener dragon. And okay, look, you know what? It bugs me. It bugs me and I don't know why, but vapor, I feel like it needs a capital. It needs a capital X. <laughs> it's something so simple. In fact, I'm gonna give him a little bit of an extra, or do we just stick with like D, zener dragon? I feel like it needs to be like, like that. Or like that. Or like that. We're going to go like that. It's a Vapor Zena Dragon. And if we're going to rename him, then our Fen Zena Dragon over here also needs a bit of a naming change. So let me quickly do that one there as well. The Fen, if I could spell correctly. I'm really bad at typing. Not only that, also bad at handwriting lately. I went and got a COVID test and I had to like fill in my details on the form. And literally the ladies there like... So I can't read any of this and she had to like run through it all with me and we had to kind of go over it. Pretty embarrassing. Anyways, let's go and take some fall damage. Now that those two guys there are renamed, I'm excited to get the third one. I really want the third one. Um, our, our stone hatchling down here is, is entirely grown up now, by the way. We just need our frost hatchling to grow and then we can get ourselves the glacial uh, Xena dragon as well. That's one that I'm pretty excited for because glacial dinosaurs are pretty strong from what we've uh, encountered so far. But um, yo, my dude here, pretty much ready to grow. We as we'll just set that in motion right this second and we're gonna have ourselves a little stone dragon that is pretty well pointless until we get the frost one set up so whatever so i guess it's one step closer anyways um reapers yes we want to get one we killed like 30 of them yesterday so that we can make this happen and say i'm going to try my best to make this happen so the elemental infuser is the key to all of this also i've never seen the i've never seen it displayed like this it's quite interesting um but if we head up here into reaper we'll find that there's four different types that we can actually obtain let me get rid of you i don't even know why you're here um there's four different types basically all the hybrids you've got your storm you've got your glacial you've got your fen and you've got your your vapor now as you can see these guys all require um oh they only require a hundred of their certain essence not of each essence so that's where I, I guess i was kind of wrong the other day we also need reaper flesh which we can craft up oh wait no no no, no we can't craft it we've already got it we've already got it but the part that's got me a little bit cute oh my gosh that actually scared me of course i've tamed a little dragon there he is hey little dude welcome to the team buddy you're not as cool looking as some of the others but I feel like you might end up looking cool. Especially because, our, like, this part here threw me off the other day. That's Vapor Golem and that's Vapor Dragon. They look nothing alike. So I'm really interested in seeing. But then you got the Fen ones. The Fen two look pretty similar. I'm really keen on seeing what the Glacial Dragon ends up looking like. And I'm pretty sure the Storm one look pretty similar to our Storm Golem too. Anyways, let's ignore all of that. That was just a little distraction. The part that I'm a little bit confused about... 
Oh, not confused, but the part that's like a little bit of a... It's, uh, I don't really know what to do to progress here. Is the, uh, the, the glacial essence. We've never... Pure glacial essence. Wait, is it essence or is it DNA? Oh no, it's, it's always called essence. Okay. Um, but thing is, I don't know how to extract a hybrid's essence. I've never done that before. That was until I held E when I was moving this structure and I saw this here. Combine essence. So what I'm kind of, well, interested in trying, and I got no idea if this is actually how you meant to do it or not, but it's the only kind of like way that I see possible is I feel like we need to go and grab our little... Oh, I've misplaced my pokey tool again. Um, what have I done with it? How do I always lose this one item? Are you in here? No, you're definitely not in there. That's just all of our essence. How about in here? Yes, there you are. Okay, good. So what I'm thinking we got to do is extract the essence from... Well, I guess it depends on what we want to actually get here. Um, if we want to get ourselves... Oh, what do we want? What kind of reaper are we going for? Do we go for glacial? Do we go for storm? Do we go for fen? Or do, I'm going to go for storm, I reckon. Only because I don't have a storm dragon and probably will never get another one because ours died. Let's go for storm. So to get a storm one, I think all we are going to need is essence from a lightning dinosaur. And I think we're also going to need essence from an air dinosaur. I think they're the two. I could be wrong, but we'll find out soon. There we go. We got both of those now, which is a fantastic. I should just go and grab the essence from all of our guys, but... I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. Um, and now I guess we got to combine the two. So I've got no idea how this actually works, but we're just going to have to try and wing this. I'm going to take the ice one out. But the thing is, I think you can only put one essence in here at a time. <gasps> no, you can't put two. Ah, okay. And now we can combine them. Oh, it actually did work. Or it is working, I suppose. Oh, of course the storms pop out midway as well. Uh, that's cool. Oh, I can't actually access it right now. It says rename elemental infuser. No, no, no. I guess we'll just let it do its thing. I assume we're combining essences. And then once we've combined the essences, I think that's really... Oh, oh, actually, I should get crafting uh, the rest of the stuff that we need. We need 100 storm essence, luminescent storm essence. So I think we've already got everything we need in there for it. So let's get crafted into that stuff there. That way uh, we ain't gonna wait too long for it. Um, and... I think we're good over here. Did we get our special S? We did. We have pure storm essence. I had no idea that that's how you do it. That's that's cool. Can I do that for anything else? Or is it just drakes? We've already looked at goats, golems, lizards, pugs, and re... Oh, no, reapers is what we're looking at now. Drakes, I'm pretty sure, don't... Ex like, they, they don't count. We don't have a vapor magmasaur, though. That's, that's, a, that's a different one. But I need fire talons to get that. Which I can craft... But really, I think we should be prioritizing one of these other ones. It doesn't require Deinonica stuff, though. Ooh-wee. Okay. Now, we really got to get the Frost one before we do anything. I really need the Frost Drake. Like, really need the Frost Drake. We need 19 Deinonicus dust to make that happen, though. So that's going to take a little bit of collecting. But we can do it. We can definitely do it. Oh, how's my, how's my stuff coming along? Yeah, we got it. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool. That's it. We've got it all. All right. So drop that in there. And I think that's it. I think we've got everything that we need to get a Reaper. The Storm Reaper. Yes. Oh, Reaper Flesh, which we have. Well, oh, I forgot. I just remembered. Yeah, okay, we've crafted it up. It's a level 436. But I just remembered the keyest detail of this whole experience. Guys, we're about to be pregnant. We're about to be pregnant with a little Reaper baby. I forgot that that's even a thing. Um, I should probably get an enclosure going before I do anything then. Hey, because when this thing pops out, it's not going to be nice. Okay. Um, I need some walls. We need some walls. And all I've got on me right now is a ceiling. Um, got an extra... I don't need that smithy. All right. Let me get some stone walls. As you know, Reaper babies, not the friendliest of creatures uh, that you'll find. I wonder if I can just craft up... I'm probably going to need more than four. Maybe I'll just get some walls. All right. We'll get 16 walls. I'll put myself in a little four by four. What I could also do is head to our old base and maybe just do it there instead. Yeah. You know what? Everything we need to make this happen is probably at the old base already but oh well we're just gonna i was gonna prop oh, maybe i'll just do it here we'll do it down here okay so i'm gonna need a little bit of a safety enclosure here because uh we don't really know what's about to go down this looks like a pretty good way to do it we're gonna need some more foundation or some more walls though all right good start actually that worked out pretty good i reckon this is enough room too 
Um, if this was a triangle, it would have been perfect. I'm going to need a door. Let's get myself a door while we're here as well. Door. Where's my door? Let's get... Uh, should we get double doors? Yeah, we get a single door. Single door. With another little door to put in the single door. A little bit go. Let's go and drop you there. I sure I probably should have crafted two now that I think about it. That way we've got a little bit of an airlock. We don't want these things escaping is what I'm trying to say. In fact, I've actually got enough walls to make this happen, right? Yeah, okay. One more, one more door. One more door. I just want to be safe here. I don't want this reaper escaping. And I hope... It's been a while since I've given birth to a reaper. So I'm hoping that we, we aren't messing this up. I'm hoping that my memory's serving me correctly and this is all we're going to need. And then we're going to pull all of this down and we'll use these resources for something else. So, um, technically it doesn't need to be ready just yet. But I'm just going to stand in here just in case something does go down. Um, all right, feeling pretty safe. Let's do this thing. Let's impregnate ourselves. Boom! We've just consumed it. And we've got 18 minutes. That's a long time. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Though. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, I guess while um, that does its thing, I need to... I'm going to bust out one of my dudes. Who do I want to take out with me? We're going to get this thing leveled up. Um, I wonder if... All right, I'm going to try something out here. Uh, what was I going to try out? I'm going to drop into here. We've got plenty of time. Basically, though, we need to go and kill stuff. And whatever experience we obtain, um, the, the, the Reaper is going to obtain that same experience to get nice and strong. So that's what we're aiming for here. But what I was curious to see is Omni Elemental Crystal. Okay. I just want to see... Wait, Crystal? Yeah, Crystal. I want to see if I can get some spiders going. We could just slay a bunch of spiders. One, it's going to level up our dragon and get our dragon nice and strong. But two... Um, well, I... Yeah, that's really it. That's really it. <laughs> we're just going to get lots of kills and we're going to level up this Reaper hopefully really quickly. So let's uh, let's see if we can do this thing. Wait, get rid of that. Spider. Aha, there we go. Okay, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom. Fantastic. Okay, we've got a little spider summoner. Fantastic. We're now going to need crystals. And I don't know where I've put all my crystals. We've got so many of them though. Uh, we could just go fire and water. Depends on who I'm going to use for this fight. I'm thinking I just bust out our vapor dude. Vapor is mostly water. I think it's water attacks mostly, which means fire is probably going to be the best option. Why do I keep opening you up? I need to use this one over here. Okay, so some... Oh, no, hold on. Uh, yeah, no, there was a reason I was over here. I needed crystals. So I think we're just going to grab crystallized water. Do I have crystallized fire? I don't have enough crystallized fire. What? Um, maybe I've got better options. We got the water. We can just craft it up, I guess. Um, how do I... Oh, I got to smelt it up, don't I? Um, do I have other options? Do I have other options? I'm just trying to think of how we can save ourselves a little bit. We got plenty of time. I'm just stressing for no reason over here. Don't mind me. All right, that's all that stuff. Come on. How do I not have any fire? All right, do I even have crystals? Because I'm going to need 39 of these. I need 101 crystals. Of course I do. Well, we can start smelting this stuff up, I'm pretty sure. All right. Uh, look, let me just grab all the wood. I don't know why I'm being scarce about it. All right. We'll get that stuff there going. I need crystal, though. So, who wants to take me to get some crystal? I'm trying to think of the last place I even saw crystal, and I don't really have much come to mind, to be real, which is... Uh, vapor dude. Let's get, let's, let me grab you, buddy. Let me grab you. Whoop. Okay. Um, crystal, crystal, crystal. We gotta be able to see some, like, along the cliff face up here, right? Surely there's gotta be something up here. If not, we'll see how we go. Find some, go somewhere else. Uh, oh, yep, hello. Hello! That is crystal. That is, I'm pretty sure that's crystal. I don't know what else it would be. There we go. 420. The perfect number. 800 all up. Fantastic. And we even got leftovers. That's what you love to see. Especially because I need a lot of crystal now. If we had to expand this base. Not only the base, but um, if we're going to build some of the remaining structures that I want in this base. We're going to need a lot of crystal to do it. So, yeah. Probably a good thing that we just went and grabbed that one there. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Also, obviously, we're still going to work on the other side of the base. Which is going to be like all the regular structures. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. But, um, you get in there. You get over here. Um, I don't know how many more of these we got to craft up. Only 21. Only 21. And then we can go and fight ourselves another spider. <laughs> but I'm more excited about the little spiders. I don't really care about the big spiders. So, 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's the last one. All right, now we have 100 of each. Fantastic. Let's go and do this thing. So, my big boy, Vapor Zen and Dragon. Where are we going to do this thing, buddy? Where are we going to do it? Over here is kind of like a compromised location since we've got mantises all over the beach. And I don't really want to kill one because I still want to try and obtain one. But why not? We'll just do it down here. It's been a pretty good spot for us. Actually, we had better luck at one of the other locations, but I don't think it matters. Let's just go and do these things. Also, we've got these weird, uh, these weird dudes. We've got these weird flying plesios everywhere. They're kind of weird, I know, but it is what it is. All right. Um, that didn't quite work. Let me try that one there again, shall we? Drop you down. Let's get you and you. I probably should have fought the, the fire and ice one, to be honest, but too late now. Let's get these spiders in. And let's kick their butts. It's as simple as that. And hopefully, with our 13 minutes remaining, hopefully that's enough time to, to actually make do some damage out here. Um, where's my spyglass? I'm just trying to think. If I could get some extra kills real quick. Just get my guy like nice and leveled up just a touch more. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Little dialogue kill. Why not? All right. Now I'm ready. Little birdie. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right. Where's these little spiders? Here we go. Flappy, flappy. Oh, God, that's actually a really ineffective attack. I need to kill these things. Oh, push them away. Um, okay. I guess we're dead. Yeah, all right. We're good against some of these. I uh, don't know which ones. All right, we're just going to... I just want them beneath me, and then I'll flap away at them. Oh, I'll bite away at them, I suppose. The flap attack, though, not, not ideal. Not ideal. But what I'm hoping to get out of this is some kills. That's all I really need. Alpha Bronto is going to be a pain in the backside. That's my fault. I went and sent the, fly, the spiders flying into him. But if I can just get this bunch here, if I can, yep, maybe, uh, their webs are really annoying, not gonna lie. But big ol' Alpha Bronzo's really being a pest. He's like literally sending them flying. Dude, bugger off. Let me get my kills so I can get extra powers. Um, okay, uh, look, if you want to get in the middle of this, you can. I got no dramas with it, but just let me have my kills first. Oh, these things are just gonna keep on spawning. All right, I swear, if you damage my structure, I think you just broke it, didn't you? You break my structure, bro. You break my structure. Do I even have a fire breath attack or not? That's the attack I've been trying to use, the control attack. Yeah, he broke my little fire structure. So that whole plan went to, yeah, didn't work out. <laughs> oh, the whole spider plan. It's all gone. This is too, all right, fine. Spiders ain't gonna work then. They're not quite gonna cut it. We're gonna go and fight something else with our dragon. We've already got 52,000 experience though. So that's good. Uh, man, I'm actually, I'm actually really bit... Oh, I'm so disappointed about that. That was meant to work. Um, I think my control attack works pretty well. You know what? Let's just, let's just flap, flap some stuff around. Let's just flap. Just flap attacks. We deal quite a bit of damage using that. But if, are we maxed out already? I think we might be. 75 levels? Is that all I can get? I can't get him the remaining... I can't get the remaining, like, 200 levels or whatever I normally give these guys. Okay, that's cool then. Guys, our job's done. <laughs> we didn't need the spiders after all. I was hoping that maybe we could get our offspring like a couple million XP, get them up to like 300 levels because that's the level cap that I use in my series. But no, it's stuck at 75. So that's it. We've done what we need to do. Unfortunately, our dragon didn't get leveled up the way I was I was hoping. I was really, really hoping our dragon would get some nice uh, kill progression out of that little spree. Only got to 50 though. Kill count of 50. It's not enough. We're going to need more, but it'll do. It will do. Anyways, I've got some time to kill. I guess I'm just going to sit inside my little box here um, on the ground, get nice and comfy, you know, and uh, we just got to wait 10 minutes for a reaper to hatch and our belly to grow. So um, let's let's do this. Yep, feeling pretty, feeling pretty bloated. Look at that belly, mate. Oh, look at my back. Whoa, it's like going to pop out my back more than anything, but oh, oh, no. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's serious. All right, buddy. Um, let me quickly claim you. <laughs> my little reaper baby spawn. And I should probably get myself out of here before. Oh, oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, oh, no, no. He's actually going to kill me. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's still in here. Oh, he... wait, what? I think it got it escaped. Hold on. I have no idea if he's in or out right now, but I need to get myself out of here. Um, that's a problem. And that's why we built the airlock, even though I don't think it's very effective because he's currently on the outer rim of it. He actually got into the airlock. All right, this isn't good. 
Um, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Okay. I'm gonna need some heals, buddy. Can I can can we can we can we get some of that beautiful healing lights going? Thank you very much, buddy. Okay. So we've got our Reaper baby. <laughs> I like how what I experienced over 10 minutes, my wife has currently been going through for the last nine months. And next week, she'll be going through what I just went through right then. Except probably more of a pleasant experience. Um, I don't think I don't think my, my child is going to pop out and try and kill her. I hope not. <laughs> It'd be pretty bad. Um, but we've got ourselves a little baby Reaper who I'm a little nervous about is going to escape. But we're just going to... I was gonna... I should probably put a ceiling on. In fact, I've got the ceilings right here to do it too. That's what we should have done. How did I not think of that? All right. Um, just gonna craft up a ceiling. And... I'm trying to position it so I can... Oh. Oh, I think it actually worked there for a second. Yep. Okay. Got it. Okay. I'm pretty sure that means it's stuck in there, right? Okay, good. The only downside now... Is that I can't see it. And I really, really want to. Unless I break down... Okay, before I do that. Let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. Hold on. Can I put some ceilings on? Yes, okay. Only because we've got them. Alright, that's got to be enough, right? I'm going to pull the door down. Oh, the entire door frame. There it is. There it is. Okay, so is elemental storm, elemental healing, attraction. Um, uh, 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 no, please don't, please don't. I don't have my. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me get my crossbow ready. All right. So, how big are you? Two point eight percent of the way there, man. You're gonna take forever to mature. Also, how am I gonna give you care? I do want to imprint you if possible. Wait, where's my nanny? Do I have a nanny? I had a nanny. Nanny. Come here, will you? Would you? Are you working? Are you currently operating? You're unpowered? Is my generator not running? Oh, my generator's not running. Okay, I wonder how long that's been going on for. Wait! That means my little babies aren't even imprinted. Oh, that's terrible. Um, Look, I've even got gasoline somewhere. I know I do because I picked it up the other day. All right. Let's just drop that in there. Power you up. Now I'm curious. <laughs> You're powered now. Okay, that's great. She hasn't been working this entire time. Which means you're... Are you imprinting now? Or maybe... Oh, dang. Oh, that's so disappointing. Also, why didn't I level you up before I evolved you? I'm so silly. Why didn't I do that? Ah, oh, man. I make just mistakes everywhere, don't I? Um, but yeah, I think you're stuck at 61% imprinted now. That sucks. It would have been so much better had you been 100% imprinted. But yeah, I don't have a brain. What can I say? There you go. Have some levels. I should really max these little dudes out. I don't know if it actually makes a difference, to be honest, which is, but whatever. Anyways, uh, my little dude there is still trapped inside. Exactly where I want to see it. But I do want to know... Is it... Imprinting? I actually have no idea. Wait, I can open its inventory. I think. Yes. It's not imprinting. I wonder if it's just not close enough. Man, he's trying to escape. He's growing pretty quick too, isn't it? Oh, I think... I reckon this thing's going to be massive. Or maybe that's just normal Reaper size. I actually have no idea. Anyways, I want you to give me that. I'm going to pick you up. It actually shows me the range. I should have just selected that option. I'm just going to place you right outside the door. And now hopefully, if the little Reaper does want care, you can give it some care. I don't think she's giving it any care, but I can do it myself. Oh. Have a little cuddle. <laughs> That's so creepy, but so good. Okay. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Fantastic. All right. Um, well, unfortunately, our nanny's kind of useless. I got to do it myself, apparently, but it is what it is. Um, I guess moving forward, I got to work out what we're going to do with here. And since our duty is going to take some time to grow up, and by time, I think it's going to take a long old time. Because right now, it's five point... Maybe it won't take too long? Mmm, that's actually a tough one to work out. Do we bother, like... Do I bother waiting around and sitting around? Or do we just wait and see? And then tomorrow... Nah, you know what? I want, I want a big old reaper. 
And you know what? It actually seems kind of friendly now. So maybe I'll just sit inside with it. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll sit up here or something. And I'll like stare down at it. Hold on. See if I can see if I can do this. I'm gonna pick up this ceiling. Oh yeah, that wall. Nope. Pick up this wall. Alright, now I just want to watch it. Alright, you can, you're not meant to be able to run our walls, by the way. Or maybe it is. I have no clue. I'm glad I made the walls too high regardless. Anyways, um, I'm going to sit up here, I think. It's going to sit up here. We're going to wait. And uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to, to grow up. Oh, it's one of those giant old smashy head things again. Oh, it's an alpha one too. Oh, damn. That thing's tough. 165,000 top or 71,000 health. Damn, it's a high level two. Ooh. I'm actually tempted to, 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 to tame that thing. We haven't... We haven't... Aside from this guy, we don't have any SCPs. Um, on the side note, main event of the day. He's growing, I think. I don't know. I'm not too certain. But the reason I did stop was because, uh, thanks to the weather, we get a good idea of how our, how our base looks with all this fancy new lighting. And I love it. I think it looks really, really cool. In fact, if I go and jump on our, our, uh, our RG over here, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Have a look. It looks really cool from out here because I've gone and lit, lit, lit up all the, all the, like the balcony areas. Have a look. This place looks like, it's like an evil villain's lair or something, except it's not an evil villain because, well, maybe it is. Am I an evil villain? Potentially. I don't know. I guess it depends which way you want to look at me, but yeah, I reckon it looks awesome. This is probably one of my, it legit looks like, like Dr. Evil's lair or something. It looks like it's like built into the side of a mountain, except... There is no... It's not really built into the side of a mountain, I guess. But it looks like it could be built into the side of a mountain. Regardless, I think it's really, really cool. This might be one of my favorite bases yet. Except it's not finished. So I should probably finish it is the point that I'm getting to very, very slowly. Yeah. Anyways, this SCP did look kind of cool, right? I kind of want it. But too bad. All right. We're just going to wait for our dude here to grow up. And um, hopefully it won't take too much longer. I'm really just waiting for him to... Oh, he's juvenile. Oh, it's juvenile. I think juveniles is when they go passive, right? Oh, yeah. He's a little baby reaper. Yo, he looks so good. Oh, my gosh. We've done it. 10% of the way there. And now he's friendly. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure once they hit this point, it won't attack me. I'm going to take that risk. And we're going to pull this pull this enclosure down. And we're going to welcome him to the team. We have ourselves. I'm calling that official. Oh, please don't run away. Wait, are you good? Are you good? I don't like that. He kind of just escaped on me just then, but I think we're okay. We're good, right? Are you imprinting? No, you just want another cuddle. Have another cuddle. That's cool. I'll give you all the cuddles you need. Don't you worry, but you can hop down from there. I don't know what you're even standing on right now. Are we cool? Are we buddies? My little baby? <laughs> oh my gosh. You look amazing. It's like my favorite color combination. There's something about purple and white that just look remarkable. Um, and oh, you got the glowy effect through it and everything. Man, I cannot wait to take this thing for a spin. I cannot wait to see what this thing's capable of. And I hope it's capable of a lot. I'm just, I'm in awe of how cool this thing looks, man. I want the full set. I want the whole collection of Reapers. Technically, we could actually do it. And it wouldn't be too bad to do. We'll see how we go. Prime meat jerky. Dude, why can't you just be a be a simple reaper and just ask for like meat or something? Like, I guess I can get that for you. I'm pretty sure I actually have the resources to make that happen. Um, yeah, we do. 100% I do. All right, I can get you some prime meat jerky. Aren't you a lucky one? I hope I can get this thing 100% imprinted. I really do. But my nanny over here is just... Um, I don't know. She's letting, it, letting, it does, letting us down a little bit. She doesn't seem overly keen at actually uh, getting it done. But I don't know. It is what it is, I suppose. Why we let that prime meat jerky do its thing, though? Oh, disable wandering. That's why you're running around. I guess these guys wander by default. Um, also, he's kind of glowing in the daylight. I guess you're not meant to be exposed like that. So that's also probably not ideal. But what I was thinking was we do need to... Um, I realized... We got a lot of structures to place down as far as crafting goes. And one of them we never really ended up dabbling with, but we should have a long time ago, is this guy right here. We need ourselves a replicator. And I guess that's why we never did it. Black pearls, crystal, and metal ingots. Things I don't have, um, or at least don't have a lot of. So I guess we got to go and start collecting some of this stuff. And by start, I mean, we got we to get this stuff like 
ASAP, man. We're kind of slacking. Kind of tempted to jump on top of my Anklo. I just don't know if I'll be better off. You know, I'm just going to collect the metal myself. We got some metal nodes down here. I'm going to quickly... Or... I think Stego will be cool with us. Yeah, I'm going to quickly run down here and grab some of these metal rocks real quick. Uh, at least then we can get some of this stuff smelting while everything else is going on. We're going to need thousands of the stuff. So, yeah, we, we really got to get to it. And since... Man, I keep hearing, like, music and stuff. Since we're going to, um, you know... Oh, maybe, oh yeah, that's why. That's why I'm hearing funkiness. Because we got that big old unclean one chilling around the base. I keep forgetting. Anyways, I think I actually broke my forge while I was reorganizing the base. So we're going to have to go ahead and redo that. What I ideally should be spending this next batch of metal on, though, is an industrial forge. But I can't afford one of those. So we're just going to stick to regular old regular forges, I think. I lied. We can get an industrial. Oh, let's just get an industrial forge. What? Okay, then. Okay, this is... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab that. Okay, that's good. That's good. We've got the generator set up already. We've got the industrial forge. But there was also a structure in here that I completely forgot about. This guy. Smaller, faster. It could be used to fuse crystals. I wonder if this thing... All right. I'm going to craft it. And I really, really hope... I've been wanting this for a while. I need crystallized air, fire, and the industrial forge. Oh, I can't do it with an S plus one. I literally just broke my converter as well while I was removing my base around. So that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Backside, I'll just drop you down, put you in here. Okay, convert that. Okay, so that's done. Um, crystallize what? What is it that I needed? So I got no idea what this forge actually does. I hope, I hope, I hope, air and fire. I really hope... I need one of you. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, and then one of you. Okay, that should be it. That should be everything that I need. I hope it's able to smelt metal just as well as a regular one does. But let's do it. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. And let's find out. So, it's pretty small. Just trying to work out where to place this thing. I'm going to place it over here. Lucky these boxes are empty. You can just go and bust those up. I should probably just break them down into metal, but whatever. I can just drop you right here. That actually works out pretty perfectly. Except you're unpowered. Not ideal. I really, really hope this thing can smell metal as well. Uh, gasoline. I wonder if I can just grab gas. Or if I need to... Let's have a look. Cool. Yeah, turn on. Alright. If this thing doesn't smell metal... Oh, come on. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. So it is an industrial forge. Oh, nice. And it can also make crystallized rocks for us which we don't necessarily need right now but whatever it is what it is great okay good i had a mini heart attack there for a second thought i just wasted all of our resources on something we don't need but uh no it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good let's pull the scrap metal across and i'm pretty sure we've got no metal uh no extra metal at least put in here but there we go Okay, well, today's been a pretty successful one, if I may say so myself. We got ourselves our very first Reaper, who is 21% of the way matured. So I have... Oh, I've nearly got some prime meat jerky. I'm going to try my best to keep this guy imprinting along the way. I would really love to see it get 100% imprinted. I think it's the only way that we see this thing actually become quite strong as uh as it as it matures but uh we'll have to see how we go i'm hoping by tomorrow's video it'll be 100 percent of the way there and then we can go on a little bit of a reaper storming spree guys we're gonna end this one right here if you did enjoy the video please go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups don't forget to subscribe to the channel of course to make sure you don't miss any of our uploads but most importantly keep on smiling have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time bye for now